All right, this is the fun place to start. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 56. Choosing, which you just saw, was a demo of our updated drum kit in 3D. Basically, we changed the colors, we rotated it sideways, and we made a new shape for the symbols so they looked more symbolish. Um, also, if so it can be easier to play when our audience comes to this. Realistically, it should look... The drums should be rotated flat and all that. However, needs must. So in today's episode, we reflected. Uh, we did a lot of good work. Um, we were talking about the metaphor that the cadence is the bone, the melody is the flesh, the ornamentation is the skin, and there's a deliberate layered structure in our music composition that works. Similarly, we found that uh, our preparations for our upcoming presentation event have that skeleton and then the flesh and the bone. So we spent a lot of time in the part of the stream today working on these hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking in music displays, um, communicating the concept of negative harmony in particular. Uh, then we actually got this video thing to work. So this is kind of a static screenshot. We're showing how we made this octal energy cube tube, and then this we made a direct link to our blog so that it actually will play if people want to take the time and trouble to, to make it play. And it takes a while for it to load, and we're not going to take the time to do that right now because we've done that plenty of times. So we still have these two displays to further update in terms of their title text, but we definitely have the drum kit all handled. So we got that done. Then in terms of the musique, um, the main thing that happened was in our figures work area, we completed getting all of the uh, 52 chords turned into arpeggiated chords. And again, let's play them a little more quickly because it's more fun to hear it that way. We'll, this time we'll try 180 and see how that sounds. So here we go. So those are the low consonance chords. Those are the medium consonants. And you can hear quite a, a, a difference in how they feel and come across. These all have one intervals in them. These tend to have two. And that makes a huge difference in the perception. And then finally, the high consonance ones. So here you have ones, but they're balanced by fours, which are higher consonants. Then you got twos and threes and fours, which are higher consonants. So. So we got that done. Um, the main things that we need work on are improvisation two in the figures work area. And in improvisation two, we did uh, open up where we need, we, we want to add new chords. And we're going to play this for you now and highlight to you where we've added some new chords. But we're about half done with that. Here we go. Actually, let's. Let's let everything rip. In here. And that's about as far as we got. These two measure bars were added, adding the 1441 chords. 
as were these. And now we're faced with choices about whether to put the three, four, four, threes in here, whether to put them uh, in here. And I think there's another place. So that ends today's stream. We thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to Dark's Caustic for stopping by. We appreciate that. Tune in next time. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.